Mrs. Newcomb, your daughter evaded her train fare, instigated a near riot, and then made up this lie about PC Valentine because she thought it might get her off. No, I don't believe it. All right, I think I should warn you. Another officer can confirm that the sexual assault didn't take place and that Tasha's witness wasn't in a position at the time to be able to observe the alleged incident. PC Valentine could lose his job over this and his reputation. He could even be placed on the sex offenders register. Is that really what you want? Put yourself in my shoes. What if she's telling the truth? And I can't tell you what to do. What I can say is if this comes to court, it could be the hardest lesson she'll ever learn. She'll be up against the word of two police officers with nothing to substantiate her claim. She'd be lucky not to be charged with perjury. Anyway, let me know when you've made your decision. spoken to the receptionist, Louise is up in a room. Remember, if you convince her that we're onto her and she bolts... Not if, when. When she bolts, I've got the exits covered and I'll follow from a safe distance. You need to make sure you stay well behind until I make it absolutely clear that Louise has left the hotel. I know what I'm doing. Okay. You just make sure you answer your phone when I call. Surprised to see me. Gary, I can't explain. Don't you say another word. I'm warning you. No, Louisa, I'm warning you now. Sit down, shut up, and listen to what I've got to say. Please, my car. That's my number calling me anytime. Okay. <sighs> Will you look at that? My favourite canopy, ruined by anchovies. You're a big boy. Why don't you take the anchovies off? Yeah, fair point. But you're talking to a man who's been passed over three times for financial director and still hasn't left the company. Company loyalty. That's a very attractive quality in a man. Loyalty, nothing. I still haven't figured out how to get my own back on him. Something wrong? Excuse me, I think I see someone. Now, we know all about your lucrative little business deals with Eleanor and your boss, Mr. Dorcas, so please don't even try and deny any of that to me. If you know so much, then how come you haven't arrested me already? Oh, you know why, don't you, eh? Because all them bureaus where I changed your money were all fitted with CCTV, which means if you're charged with money laundering, then I'm going to get charged as an accessory. Sorry, Gary. My little insurance policy. Look, I don't give a damn about you or Eleanor, but what I do care about is my job, and that's why I'm here, to warn you that you're both going to be arrested. You need to leave this country now. Well, here's a side I haven't seen before. Assertive. Determined. What else have you got to show me? Look, didn't you hear me? I said you need to go. Now. <sighs> what the hell is she doing here? Don't feel right. It's kind of rest in air. Come on. <laughs> She's done a runner. Which way? Corridor leads to the back stairs. Let me call park. Yeah, she's gone for it. She should be coming out any time now. Received, Gary. And I've got eyeball. I've just had a horrible thought. What if there isn't any money for her to pick up? There's always money where drugs are concerned. Question is, will she go for it or try and save her own skin? Yes, yeah, Hunter, DC drill and Sunny will CID. Away from the car. Away from the car. Hello, what's that? Hey? I don't know. I, don't... I must have picked up the wrong bag. Right. Nice one, Eleanor. You're still under arrest.
self-storage units. You think this is it, yeah? Well, she's not here to buy a plane ticket. Looks like you scared a pretty good better. I'm who's an idiot. Relative selling property. I believe you hassled me. Louise, if we're out, I'm arresting you for money laundering, possession of a Class A drug with intent to supply. You don't have to say anything, but it may harm your defence if you do not mention one question, something which you later rely on in court. Anything you do say may be given in evidence. Enjoy your moment, Carrier. But remember, if I go down, you go down with me. Come on, move. Sarge, we need to talk. Angry. Not now, Andrea. Well, what's the problem? Is this about us? I thought we both decided it was for the best to call it a day. Yeah, we did. And I wish you and your married man all the luck in the world. Smithy, I'm sorry. I'm, I know this is difficult. Difficult? He raped Kelly, and I'm supposed to go and congratulate the man. I know. He still hates me for telling you about Kelly's rape allegation. Every day when I'm in Jersey, I can feel him watching me. So what do we do now? You know what? Maybe I should do what Cameron tried to do. I'll drag him out in the backyard and I'll beat a confession out of him. I just wish in some way we could prove what we know. I mean, look at him, he's laughing at us. Look, we've already tried everything. MIT have investigated it and they came up with nothing. I've even tried to be his friend to gain his trust. Well, someone must know something that we can use. He's upset enough, people. Oh, you'd think so, wouldn't you? Even Laura's got issues with him. Laura Bryant? Yeah. Why? What's she got against Gabriel? I don't know where this leads us, but do you remember all that trouble we had on the Coal Lane estate? When Gabriel was the community beat officer, do you remember? Yeah, vaguely. Right, look, look. Gabriel was accused of beating up a paedophile. Now, there was loads of gossip, but nothing was ever proved. Laura lives on the Coal Lane. At the height of the trouble, she came in here, and pretty soon afterwards, Gabriel was moved off the estate. You think Laura maybe saw something, then complained about him? Inspector Gold knew that there was bad blood between them. But then if she did come in and complain, it couldn't have been serious, because Gabriel's still on the relief. Unless Laura knew more than she let on. Yeah, but then why would she hold something back? Well, I don't know. Maybe Gabriel put the fear of God into her. Or maybe she somehow implicated herself. Hang on. Hold on. Look, I think we're getting a little bit ahead of ourselves here. No, no, Smithy, yeah. don't you see? This could be our way in. Laura must have had a good reason for wanting Gabriel moved off that estate. And I'm going to find out what it is. That went rather well. Both girls arrested and enough evidence to satisfy the CPS. Well done. Yeah, I've got to add it to you, Gary. You did brilliantly, Louise. Well done, mate. Yeah, thanks, Ken, but I'm a bit more concerned about what she plans to say about me when she stands up in court. Hello. I'm DC Joe Masters. I'm going to be conducting your taped interview. Before we start, I have to remind you that you are entitled to have a solicitor to be present during the interview. Wait a minute. Shouldn't Gary be asking the questions? Sorry, it's just us girls. What's that? That's your investigation file. See, we've been watching you for longer than you think. Should they be impressed? You've made certain allegations against DC Best. I just wanted you to know the truth before you make a fool of yourself and waste your last chance to cooperate. The truth? Please see attached authorization. Recommend we use a male officer of naive appearance to undertake target infiltration. 
What you're saying, that was Gary. <laughs> that you was playing me all along? No, I don't believe it. If it makes you feel any better, you're not the first con artist is taken in. Mm -hmm. Believe me, no one plays naive and stupid like DC best. Which means your only hope now is to start naming names. Beginning with the Iron Upper connection. Either that or take the full hit yourself. You're bluffing. Try me. Roger, where have you been? I've been looking everywhere for you. No, don't tell me. The DPS want to see me. Mm -hmm. It's Mrs. Newcomb. Tasha's decided not to make the complaint. What? Oh, that's fantastic. Uh, wait a minute. Why? How? Don't ask questions, just be glad. You went to see her, didn't you? Don't be ridiculous. What sort of an example would that set? How did it go? Well, she's no fool. I'll give her that. But in the end, she decided to cooperate. Brilliant. And what about me? You're off the hook. But let this be a lesson to you. In the future, do the thinking with your brain, not the contents of your Y fronts. Point taken. <laughs> I'm going to do Santa. See you later. Seriously, Joe. Thanks for sorting that out for me. No problem. I know that stuff you said before, you know, about me being an idiot and that. Well, I know that you was just saying that, weren't you? Just so that I'd do the job right. Of course. What else? Roger. Well, here, congratulations in order. Girls, drop the charge? Yeah. What a relief. Cheers, girls. Uh, Leela, details of the IRV driving course. Amber. Thanks, Sarge. I'm looking forward to it. You're going too. Me? But I thought I was... Yeah, I was really impressed with you today. So I had a word with the course coordinator. I told him that we were very short of drivers and that I thought you ought to be given a chance. And just this once, he's agreed. So please, make the most of the opportunity. Sarge. What about that, then? I'm going to be an IRB driver. Don't celebrate just yet. You've still got to pass the test. What's the matter, Leela? Worried I might make you look bad? Sounds like you may have competition. How are those loose ends coming along? What if I offered you a bigger story? Would you let me go then, without being exposed? Don't tell me you're actually sleeping with one of them. What kind of story? The rape of an officer by another. The suspicious death of the rape victim. Are you serious? Never more so. How come you never mentioned this before? Because I didn't have the evidence. I still don't, but I think finally I'm on the right track. So you want me to ditch everything we already have on the unlikely promise of jam tomorrow? Oh, think of the headline, Bruce. It's a world exclusive. Syndication would be guaranteed. All I am asking for is an agreement in principle. If I don't get the evidence, you've still got your expose, whether I write it or not. OK, Andrea. I'll let you run with it. But you better not keep me waiting. Or I might just publish it anyway. June, can I have a word? Uh, no. Look, look, it's... It's important that I say this. I've got an urgent CPS memo to deal with, Jim. Jim, I know I've let you down, and I know that you're angry with me, but we can make this work. Why can't you see that it's not as simple as that? I'm not expecting it to be easy. But we've shared too much to just give up now. Look, everything that's happened, Marie's death, it's just woken me up to what really matters. June, I love you. Look, we just need to spend some time together, and now that you're coming home, we'll be able to talk through things properly. And I want you to wear this again more than anything. Please, just give me a chance to prove that I can make this marriage work. We can get that trust back. <laughs> 